to be on the cover of Time magazine in 1961 was something that only went to statesmen and Nobel laureates. You owe us another book. I mean, after all, we rewarded you uh, with fame, with money. Uh, we, we said you're one of the important writers of the century. Now, come on, let's have some more. And then he doesn't give it. In American literature, like Salinger's, the greatest no ever. Jerry had scaled heights, big success. At the height of that success, he disappears. No one said, don't talk about this. Don't think that. I mean, you don't have to to a kid. Kids pick up what the elephants are in the room that the family's not talking about. He sort of became the Howard Hughes of his day. J.D. Salinger was one of the most celebrated, sought after, and reclusive American authors of the 20th century. If you don't know anything about him and want to know why this was so, if you're a big fan of Salinger, either way, the new documentary, which is called Salinger, is a film you're going to want to see. It didn't end with the death of John Lennon, and that's, you know, you keep paying for this over and over when you hear of a death of a celebrity, and maybe they've got the catcher in the rye, as John Hinckley did. Young Hinckley, the whiz kid who shot Reagan and his press secretary, said, if you want my defense, all you have to do is read Catcher in the Rye. Rebecca Schaefer was expecting a script to be delivered to her for Godfather 3. Rebecca Schaefer came to the door. Yes. She fell, and Robert Bardo tossed evidence as he was running. Among the pieces of evidence that were found on the rooftops of the buildings along his escape route was the holster and a copy of Catcher in the Rye. The director, Shane Salerno, worked on this film for nine years. He's tracked down over 70 people who have thoughts, opinions, ideas, personal connections with Salinger. He's put them on camera. He's dramatized elements in Salinger's life. It's really fascinating stuff, but there really is a poignance about this film as well, maybe an unexpected poignance. Salinger believed deeply in his own privacy, and this film has absolutely invaded it. He would have been very sad by what happened, but the film is definitely fascinating. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Duran.